Welcome back to Knitting in Our Jeans. I'm Liz. I'm Carolyn. And you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as 2 liz for you T O O L I Z Z F O R Y O U. Uh oh. I'm C P R E D M O R on Instagram and that's about it. On yeah, Ravelry. Ravelry. On Ravelry, not Instagram. Sorry, I've I'm lost stitches here. And I'm trying to recover them. Um luckily they haven't run anywhere. On Instagram, I've been posting as Knitting in Our Jeans. And, and we've both been doing the Fiber URE Challenge. Yes. yes, we have. Today is your favorite thing, and it took me all day to decide what was my favorite thing. Yeah, I too also couldn't... I can't pick a favorite knit, um, because I wear all of them pretty often. You know, depending... Well, I you know? wear... I make what I want to wear. I don't... Except yeah. for Olivia, the pig. I mean, that was a fun thing. Mm-hmm. But would I say that's my favorite? No. The father likes Olivia, though. <laughs> of course. Of course quite, he does. Quite taken with the pig. Um, so usually it's whatever I've finished lately. Uh, except that my favorite sweater to wear, I think, is my Lady J. So that took me until just before now And I think to I'm decide. Gonna, I think I'm going to go with the coats we've made. Because it's a favorite make. So it doesn't necessarily have, have to, to be, be knitting. Um, since we did make the coats, um, so I think those have to be You know, be I've my just favorite. made so many things. Exactly. That, and I, I make them to wear. So, mm -hmm. have I made some things I don't like? Yeah, we mm -hmm. talked about that last week, and then I gave away some sweaters that mm -hmm. I wanted to convince myself I, I could love, and I could love them. All right, so we're done with doing that. We good. are done. Yes. Yeah. That's good. So, we've had snowfall. Yes. I got home before the snow started. Um, I worked from home all week. I've had a like a low grade migraine all week and because of because it's not this, ending. It's a storm. Storms are coming, and we managed to get the, the snow uh, put away, shoveled, snow blowed um, Monday, and uh, we were clear Tuesday. Oh, so we still had snow coming down on Tuesday. We did too, but it would hit the stuff that we had already oh, clear. blown and it melted because okay. apparently the day before on Monday afternoon it, it gathered up enough okay. um, heat, heat. Uh, to to melt it. So that, that really was fine. And I did the front porch while your father did um, everywhere, the, else. everywhere else because he had the snow blower. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that seemed well. Miss. And I'm we're recording today, um, which is Saturday, tonight, Saturday night, um, because I will be leaving here tomorrow morning before the snow comes in again, um, so that I can then get out and go to work on Monday, right, more easily. Yes. Um, so oh, so you're gonna stay and watch Saturday Night Live? I with think me. so. I'm very as good. Well. Very good. I so I well. news update: I yes. got my first shot. Yes, you did. I I watch the news. I love watching the news. I like to keep up with what's going on. And I paid attention when it was reported that our federal government, the U.S. federal government, uh, had contacted CVS and Walgreens to further help in the rollout of COVID vaccine shots and that they would be opening up new centers this week. So I said, I, I never even thought of it. I never even thought of checking CVS or Walgreens because I figured there would be some kind of notice. I mean, I, I have cards or membership cards for both of them. I would have thought they would have sent out notices to everybody, you know, blast notification. They notify you about everything else. You'd think they could notify you to, oh, by the way, we're giving shots. Anyway, I, um, tried, I guess it was Wednesday morning. So must have heard on the news Tuesday night, nothing was, I tried CVS, they said not in New York State, Walgreens I couldn't get through on Tuesday night. Wednesday morning, between 8 and 8.30, I got on, I think it's Wednesday, maybe it was Thursday. I think it was Thursday. It could be Thursday, because yes, I was going to try to sing. Yes, it was Thursday morning that I did mm -hmm. this, got appointments for myself. Five miles from the house, if that. It's just south of the bank. And I said, Richard, you should get online and make your own because you have to, I would have done it, but you have to set up an account. 
and God forbid I make up an account for him. So he wandered around like a bear for a little bit, came downstairs, tried to set up an account, and couldn't get through because the internet went down in our house. This is a server that is a probably Wi-Fi network point. A decade plus old. He won't buy a new one. No. So I said, have you tried the phone? Because I could get through on cell phone, cell power. And of course, my cell phone, oh, it was uh, Charging powering up my watch. watch and it's been off my arm for hours. So I haven't had any of my steps counted. Anyway, so I said, well, why don't you try your phone? <coughs> so between the phone and the computer, it took him an hour to try to get through to Walgreens. And of mm -hmm. course, by that time, the appointments were all gone. Of course. I didn't feel bad because we've been trying to get him to buy a new Wi-Fi Wi point, for point here. Years. 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 So anyway, I just said, okay, whatever. I have an appointment on Friday. So I got it Thursday for the next day. And of course, then they sent me a reminder email. I'm like, okay. Um, got in the car, drove down there Thursday afternoon just to make sure that it was the Walgreens I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. Came back. Friday morning, drove down. Turns out it was the first day they were giving shots. So they were a little slow in getting started. Fine. They were making appointments every 15 minutes. So we were, and they had chairs set up six feet apart. So you went to the back. Uh, they said, well, go get the next chair down mm -hmm. uh, because we're, we're doing them in order mm -hmm. here. I said, great. Made friends with the women in front of me and in back of me. We were talking the entire time. Um, so I don't think I got out of there until like quarter. My, my appointment was 9.30. I got home at 11. Okay. Because it just took a while for the, first of all, she couldn't figure, the woman at the window couldn't figure out what information needed to go on the computer. She it thought was the first day. She thought we needed a prescription. Um, we said, no, we don't need a prescription for this. Um, so, it, yes, it was their first day. It, finally, the pharmacist had to come and start Aww. entering in the information. The store manager was managing the line. The lines. I, section crew chief. That's what the section old guy. Section crew chief. I we see. Had, this line that was sitting there were all women. Uh, it speaks of something. You figure out what. And so as we're sitting there waiting for them to get the whole process in order, two, three, three men wander up separate, separate times. So what's this all about? Uh, this is COVID vaccination. So can I get on a list? And get away. Walgreens.com. You have to sign up on Walgreens.com. Yeah. And so one guy says, well, you know, I was a section crew chief in the union and we always had a list in the back. Can I get on that list? He goes, we don't have a list in the back. There is no list in the back. You have to go online. You have to register online. I, I have to now whether it's because we were all sitting there or because he's a great guy. I don't know. Big guy too. So no nobody who wandered in was going to give him a hard time. He just kept saying Walgreens.com. Uh, the store that is close to us where I got my shot is getting only 20 a supply of only 20 shots a day, mm -hmm. which he said they had appointments that you could book up through three o'clock or up to three o'clock, something like that. So I would imagine not that many people are trying to get shots at Walgreens because it seems like so little or they haven't thought about it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, when did I get your father's last night? Last night at like midnight. <clears throat> yes, last night at midnight. So it was about 1210 where... Yeah, Richard finally had to tell me his name and password. Oh, that must have been torture. For Walgreens. Well, the first morning I tried to do it, which was Friday morning. So Friday morning, I got up, get going, getting ready, took my shower, got ready to go get my shot. So let me try for him. So he had managed to tell me the name he went in under. But not the password. No, had the password. I didn't have the security word. Oh. So I had to creep upstairs, get his phone, so I could have him, them text a security code to the phone so I could get on to Walgreens. There was nothing. Nothing. I said, okay, fine. So, sucks to be you. <laughs> and I went off and got my shot. 
came back. Now, now I have a lot more additional information. The manager said that they start opening up the calendar about midnight. Mm -hmm. um, that they only get 20 shots. And, you know, when they're filled, they're filled. That's it. So then I conveyed this to my husband. So we normally stay up rather late. In fact, I've been going we, to... We turn, like, our family becomes nocturnal very easily. I, yes, that is in the past 11 months, I had like, that is going to be the hardest thing for me to convert back mm. from because I, I stayed up till like 3.30 AM yesterday mm -hmm. with no problem. And like, that's how we normally are. And I remember, well, when I was furloughed, I was, we were up till 3, 4 AM easily, easily. And you know, you sleep till nine or 10 and then it's great. But exactly. I, we become nocturnal very, very easily. Evil. I like it because it's quiet. I like I, it because no one bugs you. Translates to quiet. Yeah. Um, having been a college professor for over 30 years, I've heard my name 162 times, times 162 times. I mean, uh, just a gazillion times. Dr. Pridemore, Dr. Pridemore, Dr. Pridemore. And that was my job. I didn't mind, but I really am relishing the quiet. I'm relishing the fact that I don't have to make exams. I don't have to do notes. Um, I'm still answering emails. I got one and writing recommendations, writing recommendations, and referring people mm -hmm. to job openings from pre from other alumni. Mm -hmm. Fine, I'm happy to do that, but I don't have any place I have to go, um, and so. Well, let's see. Last night, I thought I tried to get to bed at 3. It took me an hour to finally get everything turned off mm -hmm. and kind of settle my nasal mm -hmm. you know, lavage and all this other kind of stuff. Um, so it's probably 4 o'clock by the time I actually, actually 3.58 by the time I actually crawled into bed. But I slept until 10. Mm -hmm. So six hours of sleep, it's fine for me. Because yeah, I'm also taking the, the antihistamine, which means I, I'm not going to sleep much more than six mm -hmm. hours unless I'm, you know, hiked a mile, two miles, ten miles, something like that. Anyway, so last night at 10 minutes after 12, I, I had no idea what Richard was doing in the kitchen. He, at some point, likes to get up from watching television and go and sit at the kitchen table. He, loved he has kitchen. evening snack, and yes. then he has evening yogurt. And then he has evening check the blogs, yes. and then it's bed. He, he, he reads sailing blogs like crazy, so he can tell you what's going on up and down the eastern seacoast with sailors. It's very cute. You know, he, he asked me, and I said, yes, he sold my plans to how to make the boat. Really? Well, yes, because, well, no, he didn't sell them. He, he sold the postage. Mm. We gave them away. I said, because if I'm going to make that boat, I'm going to buy the whole kit. kit the boat. Yeah. yeah. And I figure if we get that apartment that has the balcony, I could do it out in the balcony. <laughs> <coughs> we'll have to do some spatial reckoning first. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Anyway. Um, not doing anything until after the second stop. Anyway, uh, 10 after 12, I logged in with his account, his security word, who was your best friend in elementary school. Shh. I had no idea. So <laughs> I was like, oh. Um, so anyway, he'd finally given me that. Uh, and I got Belmore, where I had gone. And he has an appointment next Tuesday. Mm-hmm. For his first shot, which is the ninth. Yes. Yes. Um, and if you're in New York, you can check out Walgreens as Mom has described. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I also know the Javits Center is have has a major operation going on in terms of um, open appointments and um, just getting people in and <clears throat> out and through. Um, so keep checking also, there if you're if you live in the Bronx. Yankee yes. Stadium. If you're a Bronx resident. Well, that's what I said. If you no, no, in, I'm just reiterating. The Bronx, they will not only take reservations online, but also over the phone. And if either of those two is too much for you, go up to one of the open ticket counters. Mm -hmm. And they will help you get an appointment. So mm -hmm. for those people who live in the Bronx, Yankee Stadium is probably your best bet. And it's certainly accessible via subway. 
So it it really. So if you're if you're in the Bronx or if you're willing to to travel there, um, no, to, you have to no no sorry travel to the Javits Center. Right. I skipped a word in my sentence. Um, then that's an, a very good option. Um, with the Javits Center, they do have parking, but only for if you are the only person. Like if you are going to get your shot, you drive yourself, and you will be able to get parking. Um, or, or if, if you're, you're a there, carload of right, other shot right, people. But, Every, if you, if the car will be unattended or is only including people who are getting the vaccine, mm -hmm. they have parking set aside. Okay. If it, if you don't, then you have to go find parking yourself, which can be difficult. Which can be a hike. Um, so just definitely, um, for New York, or at least the lower, New, you know, New York City, greater metro area, definitely check that, that kind of stuff yes. out. Um, Again, you know, keep in mind that supplies are still low, at least They're in New limited, York. But if you know that Walgreens opens up at midnight, then it makes right. sense to set an alarm. But also just be aware of your your state's regulations and who they are um, opening the vaccines to. Yes. Um, currently, New York is 65 and over. And then on Monday, it opens up to people with comorbidities. Yes. Um, they haven't fully defined which comorbidities. Right. So, I also want, there's another caveat. Mm -hmm. uh, there, in our local newspaper, they had like, highlighted a couple who had gone online to one of the drugstore uh, websites and put in their zip code, and it directed them to a place in Connecticut from Long Island. They took the ferry over and went to the pharmacy, and of course the pharmacy told them, no, you're not eligible. If you're a New York resident, you can only get your shot in New York, unless you're living in Florida. If, unless you own property in Florida, then and you're in Florida, then you can also get your shots in Florida. I think it's mostly for each state that They're you... They're residents. It's, you have to be a resident of the state. Um, right. Or have property, or you know. own property, pay taxes. Um, so, yeah, so essentially, um, I know for f people who were, you know, flying to Florida, you had to prove it, or after now, they had the, after they had the open, you know, vaccine situation, uh, you now have to present a gas or electric bill, mm -hmm. um, in order to prove. Which, if you own a second home, you certainly can do. Right. You know, so, I'm our just, friend George is down there. Yeah. And he's, he's gotten his shot there. Oh, good. Because. And his wife? Yes. Good. Um, because they own an apartment, mm -hmm. a condo down there, and they were down there starting in October. In fact, I think he's homesteaded there. So they're down there six months in a day. Mm -hmm. um, so they obviously had an electric bill or some kind right. of utility um, bill. But just be aware of that and, um, you know, be aware of what uh, the the communities that are trying to be served first. Yes. Because um, I know for myself... I'm not going to be getting it anytime soon. I'm not even trying. It's not something that I'm, you know, eligible for yet. You're not on the list um, yet. I'm not on the list yet. So, you know, I know it's hard to hear um, that people... Other people are being favored. Are, are but... being, are getting it. Um, but, I mean, my grandmother's 92. She got it. My parents are... She's 93. God, I forgot her birthday was a week ago. was two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Um... <laughs> Yeah, she's 93. Um, she's gotten her first shot. She could, did get her first one. You, and I have to say, yours. it doesn't hurt. Well, you said your arm is no, sore. The shot doesn't hurt. Oh, okay. I, if I hadn't known he was actually doing it, I would, wouldn't okay. have known. My arm was sore today. I took one Excedrin. Okay. And it's a, it's manageable. Before, I couldn't raise my, my left arm over my head. Mm -hmm. Now... I can do it. Do is I it as sore as when you get the flu shot? Yes. Okay. So if you get when the I get flu the shot. When I get the regular flu shot, mm -hmm. it, my, when I get the allergy. The eggless. <coughs> the eggless flu shot, my arm hardly hurts at all. Mm. So this, to me, is very much like flu shot. Um, we'll see what happens with the second shot. But, hey, you know, with this way, I'm making plans. I can go see my mom. I can go down and visit my brother at his we new house. Can hug. We can hug. We can go look at boats. We can. I still I have, masked and socially I have, distanced. I have backed off from maybe flying out of the country immediately. Good. Well, Cyprus will take you no, as long Mom. as you've been vaccinated. Mom. <laughs> what? Just 
What? What? So and, and rates are low. Right, but we're but still apparently being careful. there could be a problem coming back. Yes. Since they haven't figured out what documentation you need. I did take a picture of myself with my my mm -hmm. vaccination card, but I, I took a picture of the back of the card. Good. So none of my information actually showed up because the back of the card is in Spanish. Mm -hmm. And all it says is vaccination card. I am relatively sure. Good. Um, so, yes, you get a card that says you got what kind of shot you got. Mm -hmm. uh, I got the Moderna. So okay. I go back in four weeks. Apparently, Pfizer is three weeks. They're both, I think, three weeks, but I think they've, because of um, supplies, supplies, they're saying, and also to try and get as many people vaccinated with the first one as possible, they're pushing to four weeks. To four for Moderna. Anyway. Um, if so, you're not a frontline worker, like if you're not right. in So the anyway, healthcare. Richard will be going on Tuesday. And our local knitting shop uh, woman will be going on Wednesday to, that's how I know about the Javits Center. So again... Make sure you check um, yes. your sites that are, you know, available to you and, you know, So anyway, check I got out. his appointment. I was oh striding yeah. into the You're... kitchen goes, he loves you, baby. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You're ridiculous. He loves you, baby. So, so that was our, well, 20 was, minute but last dis night. discussion of, So yeah, everybody, you know, you know it's ravaging the country. Mm -hmm. um, we've lost my father-in-law. Mm-hmm. For us, it's, it's certainly very serious. I think for anybody, it, it can be extremely serious. Or it can be as light as you don't even know you have it. So, you know, hopefully you don't get it. And if you do, I hope you don't get it very badly. Mm -hmm. um, for me, <laughs> since with the flu, with the flu shot, as uh, someone, one of our viewers mm -hmm. had said, the flu vaccine doesn't mean you don't get it. It just means you get a, a lighter Yeah, case. that's not always the case with this one. No. <laughs> but also, the flu shot does have a lower efficacy rate than the, the vaccines yes. that are yeah. coming out for COVID. So, so anyway, that's been our newsflash, our health update, and I hope that it helps some of you, if at all possible. Yes. Yes. So what have you been working on this week, I have other been than doing... obviously stalking the Walgreens website? Well, that's only a couple days. So I <laughs> mentioned that I was going to work on my coat which is going to become a dress. Okay. So I took it, I've took it apart. You've taken it apart. <clears throat> so I took, I separated the bodice from the bottom. And from the waistband. I wanted to put this in as the waistband. I'm worried it'll be too thick. Like it's going to look <coughs> chunky. But I love the color. I know you, I know I love the color too. So I think. So we'll just, you know, obviously I can I was take gonna it say, apart. You pin it together and we. See what it looks like. Right. And then I mentioned the bottom of the skirt had a color problem. So let's show a before. So I don't even see it. Keep going. It's not all panels. There oh, it is. Oh, there it is. See that? Oh, look. You can see that on the computer. Yeah. So I that, don't know I, how. This is, I, I don't. Baroka? I don't normally pay, play yarn chicken. Somehow, with these eyes, which, you know, I'm dyslexic, it's so easy to mess up. Well, and you had cataracts still when you bought this yarn. I managed to buy not enough yarn. Since it was a commercial yarn, I thought I could just buy more yarn mm -hmm. to be able to finish the project. And it was part of the Harry Potter Knitting Crocheting Club, and it was my major project. Mm -hmm. So, and I didn't want to have to give up. I, and I couldn't shorten it because you can't make changes. That aren't yada, previously yada, yada. declared. Right. So I bought it, and you can see the difference in the dye lots. Mm -hmm. Who knew? So anyway, I have decided to do embroidery. Mm -hmm. So I have been embroidering. It's upside down. Inside out. Upside down and inside out. Oh, with little paisley designs. That's right. So there's two. You want to hold that side? Oh, sure. There's two different yarns. This is the yarn that is in the middle of the the belt this fat stuff and then this is yarn that matches what was in the original waistband i plan to use the original waistband up at the collar um and and change the color perhaps to a v-neck so i think that this will be quite enough distraction 
from the color problem that it will be fine. And if I mean, not, I was going to say, I'd mimic this little thing on the bottom and on the top, maybe, yeah, so yes. it provides more of a border We can design. do certainly more embroidery. So, yeah. I I have done part of what I said I would do, yeah. which I am very, ple I am very pleased with. Um, it looks, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, but I kind of love it. And it, I love it. I really do. Um, I went online to get um, some line drawings of Paisley's. This is one, this, this, mm -hmm. this design was one of them. So they had the interior, they had the other, the mm -hmm. little flower things that come off the side. The other, I decided that since there was often a line split, a line about here, that you needed mm -hmm. something that might explain the split. I like it. Yes. Is it garish? You're absolutely right. But you know what? I'm retired. So, and you're happy with it. I'm very happy with it. I wasn't wearing it for, what, 10 years? No, less than. Not much less than. I think it's less than. Not much less than. And now I've managed to lose the neckband. So. No, I see it. <laughs> so anyway, I've been working on this, and I'm pretty happy about that. The other thing mm -hmm. I've been working on is my cross stitch. Which, and I, I changed yes. the frame because I was getting frustrated mm -hmm. running into the side of my round frame. So I ordered Q-snaps. Q-snaps. I was going to say, you could have borrowed some <coughs> bands I could have. from me. But then I would have waited till today to get them. So okay. I said, no, I can order. So these are 11 by 17s. I... If I had seen 11 by 18s, I might have gotten them, but it, this is fine. I can move this. It doesn't allow me the entire screen, but enough that I can start the color over here, fill it over here, and then bring it over here as I need to use up the rest of the, the thread. And so I have done a was, great deal of work. Yeah. Well, the coat you originally made in September to November of 2014. 14. Six years. Six years. It looks gross. I mean, look at that. And see what I mean, though? That was the original waistband, Mom. I was right. No, it's what I thought was the original waistband, and well, that's, it wasn't. Oh, well, that's what you put in there. As I know. It, that's why I'm like... I know. Mm -hmm. All right, so maybe we have to get a different color. Or maybe we just find a similar color of that, like, to the, to the bulky, and you use maybe a DK or a finger. Well, that's what I'm saying. A yeah. different yarn. Yes, that's way too bulky. Yeah. Or I wear it with a belt. Or you wear it with a belt. I could do that. So anyway, I have done a lot of work on this. You have. I filled in this part, whatever. I decided I wanted to get something over here so that when I brought threads from here over to here, I would have something to anchor them and then something to gauge the placement by. Um, but I have done a lot in terms of filling in. Yeah. From here up. Is this the bottom corner? This this is this is the bottom corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, that you've already done, so no, I haven't. Um I mean I did on this side. Yeah, but not that's what on I this meant. side. Yeah, so you're working kind of like that. Yeah. From well, the bottom I, corner. Right now I'm working up. Right. It looks good. I was working like that with the round, mm -hmm. but now I think I'll try to do columns going okay. up, and then whatever doesn't fill in, then coming over yeah. with it. Um, I must, it I'm not really sure good. what happened here, but if you compare what I've done with the actual pattern. Something's it, off. It doesn't match. Something's off. And I'm not taking it out. I'm not taking it. Because no one's going to know. No. You don't have a copy of the pattern. Yeah. No one else is going to know that I was drinking or something. I mean, obviously, the pro I know what one of the problems was. I was going up and over mm. with some of this original counting. Um, dyslexia strikes again. So, you know, it will be a little off. But it's not off enough to ruin the picture. Your father picks it up now. Now he picked it up like this. He goes, well, that's pretty impressive. I said, thank you. It is. He says, so 
are you making that for someone else? I said, no, I'm making You're going to have to go back and finish all of these. No, no they're both, halves. They're I forget. Halves. I forgot. There's Sorry. one place here that I want to go back in and yeah. refill in. But those are halves. That's so weird. I agree. I agree. But I mean, the fact that it's a blue scrim helps. Mm -hmm. But it's so weird that they're halves. I'm following the direction. I know. I'm, and I keep pointing it out, and I'm sorry for that. It's not <laughs> a comment on you. It's a comment on it looks off to me. But it also, it could just be to convey movement. Yes, I think that's true. I absolutely think that that Which, is true. you know, so, when it's all together, well... This I intend to have as a pillow. I intend to do all of these as pillows instead of hanging them on the wall. Mm. So my plan is to get some very thin silk. Mm. Almost like a transparent silk. and Like handkerchief weight? Yes. And cover this so that there's a layer of silk over this so it doesn't get caught or anything. I've seen what I want Okay. years ago, but I've seen it. Okay. And it will mean that the colors are not as vivid, but it won't get caught on people's pockets and mm -hmm. nails and, and wristwatches mm -hmm. and all that other kind of stuff. Oh, and then I did, one of my, my threads broke and I used my new fishing oh. line. It works very well. That's a different kind of fishing line mm -hmm. than what I have. Interesting. I like it. It it goes in and out well, mm -hmm. um, but you cannot pierce it. It feels like it's like not braided so much as um, it feels like like rope versus yeah. thread. Yes. So now, of course, my hand hurts a little bit from the motion of mm -hmm. doing cross stitch. So I need to have. So I have taken breaks. Um, doing the embroidery, mm -hmm. but I can only do that embroidery so much. Um, it's not quite as fulfilling as knitting, so I'm looking at uh, clearing off this desk, and I know I've talked about that before. Uh, so I have two pairs of socks mm -hmm. in progress on this desk. What I intend to do is I intend to finish this pair of um, mustache? mustache. Nice. Get those done. And then I will go back to my skew socks. Mm. Because I know how good they feel from yours. Well, mine are DK. So. Yeah, but still the pattern really works. Yeah, well, and it's like how I really like, I like the skew socks and I like the reverse vanillas. Right. And so I thought I'd do reverse vanilla on something else. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, I, I intend to take breaks from my cross-stitch with the socks and the mm -hmm. embroidery. Hopefully by next week, well, my plan is to maybe have half the skirt done by next week and then just keep doing like a quarter and a quarter and a quarter and then it'll get done and then we'll, by that time we'll figure out what we're going to do mm -hmm. with the the waistline. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking about that really dark um, Molly, was it Molly? Molly Girl? Molly Girl that I bought. Mm. At um, Rhinebeck, mm. not Rhinebeck, uh, Vogue. in the Untangled one year. But I left it under the table and had to buy it again. Mm. Uh, I think I see it up there. Anyway, okay. um, so that's a possibility because it yeah. has little flecks of color. Yeah. In this really deep purple. Mm -hmm. That might be a really good use for that. Yeah. Anyway, that's been my week. It's been very exciting. Well, I've been, well, as I mentioned, it's been kind of migraine town for me. Um, I tend to forget bad winters um, because we don't have, like, we have them every two or three years. Um, mm -hmm. And so I forget that winters are bad sometimes in terms of migraines. Um, so it's been a rough week, um, for crafting, but I am on my third block. I am, I think, I am, I am six garter rows away from being that, from that third block being fully connected and then moving to the decreases. Mm -hmm. So this was my first block, this is the second one, and this is the third one, and then I'm going to use a technique from um, the Vertices Unite blanket to 
just knit together this last section and I pick up from gorgeous. both sides. Um, so have you been picking up? I pick up on, so what I do is I go, so I'm using a technique that I learned from doing the Stephen West Vertices Unite Blanket and the um, Jig Shawl because a lot of the, those two are pick up and knit um, patterns. Um, much my, like my cocoon Yeah, sweater. they're modular. Um, so I knit the right side row, I slip the, I move the yarn to the front, I slip the next, the last stitch, and then I pick up the next stitch on the um, thing that I'm connecting it to. Um, and I have to reread the Vertices Unite section um, to figure out how I'm going to do it on the last square. Um, but I... I'm increasing at the beginning and end of each row, or and beginning and end of each um, right side row, like the pattern says. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I am doing is I am slipping the first stitch um, to create an edge that is cleaner to mm -hmm. pick up. Um, as I said before, this is a pattern where you're supposed to knit all four blocks separately and sew them together. Um, I find the knit together seam to be more stable because um, who knows if this is going to become the child's favorite object and dragged hither, thither, and yonder. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd rather know that it's at least integrally sturdy, sturdy, and integrally connected rather than it being its own. Um, Possibly coming apart. Yeah, coming apart at its own seams by mm -hmm. itself. Um, so yeah, it's. Quite warm on my, you know, when I it have it on like myself. It. I like it now that I see more squares. Yeah, it's. I think it's a good size. Mm -hmm. um, though what they do have you do for the border is pick up each side separately and do the border. I'm thinking picking up and knitting and As doing a row and then doing an I-cord bind off. Okay. Because they have you doing two garter rows on each edge. I think that sounds reasonable. The I cord. Mm -hmm. I Just think it'll increase the stitches going. Yeah, around I'm gonna the put. I think I'll do three. three. Yeah, That's going around the corners. Yeah. yeah. Um, again, due to the amount of blankets I have made recently or in the last few years, um, and also working on the modular projects from Stephen West, that has influenced me a lot more than I had realized um, in my well, you references. Learn with, learn with each project. Yeah. Um. But I have, um, so I have this baby coming into our friend's, uh, friend group, and then my other friend just, um, announced as well. Yeah. And then a coworker announced, so I have two more babies to knit blankets for. Um, I think I'm also going to get, um, some yarn to make some sweaters, um, so... Yeah, but I'm going to try and get the blankets done. Well, this, this baby is due, the baby who's getting this one, is due in three or four weeks. So I'm going to try and figure out what sweater I'm going to make and if I have the yarn or if I need to get the yarn um, and make that one. And then I'm also going to order the yarn for the second baby blanket for the next one. And then once my coworker tells me what her nursery colors are, I can then, because I'd rather not make a blanket that's going to clash with right. the nursery. Um, so, yeah, once once I'm alerted to what the colors are, I will then be picking out the yarn for that and doing that. Um, I haven't worked on my sweater this week because I've been working on Another my present. cross stitch. So that's the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. Um, and so, yes, it is that pink. Yeah. So I got that done. Um, my goal is to get the, is, is kind of to get one monument done kind of a week. So this coming week, I think I'm going to try and finish up this section here and the, the tower. Mm -hmm. Maybe the palm tree, we'll see. Um, Did you and your dad go up the EO tower? No, I don't think so. Mm. Um, so that's my current plan. Um, I am stitching on it almost every day. Um, I missed one day this week. Um, but yeah, so I'm finding it really fun.
Um, and I'm really excited to actually be getting it done. Another thing that I've been saying I would do for years and just haven't. Um, and then I have been... <laughs> Obviously, we're on a cross-stitch kick. Yeah, well, and this isn't cross-stitch. This is the black work, red work, you mm -hmm. know. Backstitch? The backstitching work. Um, so I just did week four, which is really pretty. Um, and I bordered week two and three. So I'm going to put the border on week, like or I'm going to do week five, which I also, which came out just this came week. Out, yeah. Um, and then Everybody I will border there. those two. Yeah. Uh, and then I will border those two and I'll wait for six. So I'm trying to keep, not be more than two weeks behind. Um, looks really pretty. Yeah. I really like my colors. Like they're, they're different. They're not my typical colors, but I think my typical colors might be changing, which is weird. Um, we'll see. Yeah. But I really like it. It's a lot of fun. It's a new skill that I'm like just maybe not learning so much, but actually, you know, definitely having fun doing something with doing something with that new skill. Um, so I think it's going to be gorgeous. It is. I'm, I'm excited to see it grow over the year. I like those colors too. I know that I couldn't possibly decide to do that myself because then I would hate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've just gone through that whole thing about trying to let myself love something and it's just not going to go. No. You know, I like my crazy paisleys. Yes. I mean, honestly, I think you'd like the color that, the colors that are um, suggested by the designer. They're very pretty. Um, but I didn't have all of them in my stash and I it saw, happens. I got, I got inspired. Um, but also you could, you could have been inspired by other colors and that would yeah, have been fine. That would have been fine. Um, I am thinking about casting on my Bernie socks. Um, <laughs> that'll be fun because I'm going to be back in the office, uh, this week. And luckily here, parents have started vaccinations. Yes. And I'm not in every day. We are still wearing masks and socially distant um, in the office. And you're hybriding. I'm hybriding. I'll be home for three days. I'm on site for two days. I'm home for three. I would be a slightly wacky person who tends to be a little... <laughs> With my coworker who is a bit more... Sociable? Not debonair, but... Um, blasé. Blasé. Means well, but is a bit more blasé about regulations right now. Um, will not, no, we are not scheduled to be in on the same days. Good. That was my request. Yeah. Um, due to the fact that we had decided that I would go back to work before we knew that you, you all had moved up your um, vaccine appointment. And I waited until I actually got my first shot to cancel the one I had at Aqueduct. Um, just because I wanted to get on Walgreens' list mm -hmm. of their first shot people to prevent any untoward thing happening. Um, but I have canceled my appointment at Aqueduct, so mm -hmm. somebody else can use those. Um, Richard is waiting until he gets his Good. first shot at Walgreens before he cancels that one. Um, I mean, you just never know. No. Someone could, the, the Walgreens could lose electricity. <coughs> they they could be snowed in. The roof could cave. Mm -hmm. Any number of things could happen where he might not get, you might not get your shot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would not want to cancel that first shot mm -hmm. until you get it. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Uh, but he will then, once he gets his shot on Tuesday, he mm -hmm. will be canceling his appointments at Aqueduct, thereby opening up some appointments at Aqueduct for someone else. Good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't have much else. Um, it's been a pretty light week. Um, I've been doing me. my exercises. I didn't go into PT this week because I got the appointment you're mm -hmm. right, on, on Friday for my shot. So mm -hmm. I'll be going in this week. Today, my knees, yesterday and today, my knees, it felt great. Who knows? Maybe the, the COVID shot is good for my knees. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, placebo effect placebo effect or something it's been really much easier uh you're right i don't know of anything else i'll make this start on these two pair of socks hopefully get one of them done um and then work on the skew sock work on my cross stitch work on my dress that's a week yeah i mean i do have to say for february my plan is to work predominantly well i'm gonna I'm gonna always, my plan is to always have a sweater on the needles for myself, whether it be a whip or, you know, 
starting something new, mm -hmm. and then to have a baby project on the needles. Mm -hmm. um, Makes sense. And then a work project if the baby project does not become Satisfy. the baby. Yeah, oh, okay. um, because the socks might become just what I work on. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, it's been, again, it was a migraine week, um, which for me makes it so that I don't, I end up not knitting as much sometimes right. because I end up napping a lot. Um, mm -hmm. But also because I have picked up my stitching again, um, that has decreased the amount of knitting time. <sighs> Darn those, you know, things where you have to put one thing down to do the other. Why can't we well, be octopi and have eight arms? It'd be well, great. I find that when it gets late, then the, the cross stitch gets a little tiny to yeah. work on. So it's nice then to have um, the knitting to go back on since mm -hmm. I can knit without looking and, and yeah. it's just fine, especially with these vanilla socks, but mm -hmm. make it very, very easy. So, mm -hmm. um, yes, these will go in my bag. Yes, I do know that I've got a purple sweater that I thought I was going to finish in time for voting, which I didn't even get close to. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that would be what I work on after my socks, get that out of the bag. And then it will either be my artichoke French or the jacket mm -hmm. because the jacket hasn't been packed away and mm -hmm. really should need some love and um, yeah my mm -hmm. oldest project <laughs> maybe that'll be something to work on so other than that I don't really have anything else new oh. and exciting what I found out today that a cross stitch designer um, is going to be doing a Tamora Pierce inspired stitch along um i'm looking it up right now it is the oh my word come on where are you where'd you go where'd you go where'd you go let's see can i search i'd like to search please um taylor and cromwell is going to be doing a stitch along based on um, Tamora Pierce, uh, which who is one of my favorite authors. Um, so I have already bought the pattern. I will be partaking in that. Um, but in case anyone else also, so it's a mystery stitch along. It is a mystery stitch along, um, and they do very graphic pieces. Um, what does that mean? They're they're bolder. They're okay. they're bold. Um, so they're not as they're. I mean, I think they're pretty. Um, so let's let me see if I can pull up their site so you can see what I mean by that. Um, so they do. Ooh. Yeah, things just that are a bit more primary colors. Yeah, they're, that's, that's Evan Hansen. That's Dear Evan Hansen. Very it's nice. lyrics from Dear Evan Hansen. Okay. Um, so they, they do a lot of um, graphic pieces um, that are, you know, bold colors. Uh, though this one has a lot of colors. Um, the color list is a bit intimidating. Extensive. Yeah. Um, so I'm very excited about it. Um, mm -hmm. So I will put a link down below if you're interested in that, along with all of our other notes from this week. But I think it is time to weave in our ends, which yes. I actually, speaking of the fiber you worry challenge, you want, when I made, I made a video for um, yes. Thursday. That was, was that Thursday? <laughs> Thursday was made in 2020 and I made a video of my, all the makes that I still had are knitting, all the knitted makes. I didn't include the sewn stuff. Um, and because I was doing that video, it prompted me to weave in the ends on some of my more recent projects. Oh, good. And it was, I thought it was very funny. I was like, oh, good. Social pressure is all I need to actually weave in ends. Well, I can't, I had something like 25 different things. That oh, I had made you beat between, me. Between Olivia the pig and mm -hmm. various washcloths while I was still involved in Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. uh, the Afghan squares mm -hmm. that I had made, as well as the sweaters. Mm -hmm. I had 23. Okay. 23, 10 of which were sweaters. Not bad. I lost count of how many sweaters. But... Yeah, I did a whole stats situation. Which is funny <laughs> because um, you would have thought that I would have knit more 
this past year. I didn't do yardage. I should see if it's actually more yardage this past year. Um, but I knit more in, I knit more items in 2018 and 2019 than I did in 2020. Odd. Yeah, it could be that because I did so, I didn't do as many sweaters the other year, so it might be yardage. I might be up on yardage this past I would year. I think so. Um, but it was a lot of fun to make that video. Um, but yes, it did it cost was. me to weave in ends. So I have no ends to weave in. Well, I've got ends on my cross ah. stitch. So we've got ends to weave in, and we will see you all next, next week. Next week. Bye, guys. Bye.